a big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there welcome to my channel and here is a collective message for all the people over here if you resonate with this session then go ahead and listen to it if you don't then you can opt out and you can listen to some other channeling that you resonate with more the message is that somebody or they don't want to get hurt again they don't want to get hurt again and that's why they don't want to take certain initiatives or certain steps now we need to understand something if you are in the ascension journey you need to know that you need to also protect your energy you need to protect your energy if it's getting wasted on arguments debates if it's getting wasted on trying to convince someone because when we do anything when we do something we put a lot of effort into something we are putting our energy into it have you seen some people who are always tired if you talk to them if you ask them that why are you tired they'll always tell you i do this i do that i spend this much time over there then i do this work you know and then i don't have any energy left they want to do a lot of other things like they want to do mission work or they want to get a job of their dreams something they love they want to do all those things but they are stuck in a daily routine in a monotonous daily routine which is based around trying to fulfill or manage their materialistic requirements the worldly requirements which are based on survival energies like food shelter and clothes but we are not here just for that this is a programmed reality some people are living that typical program reality and survival energy is like the strongest here everybody is trying to survive they are just trying to make both ends meet they just want to somehow you know make enough money that can run their house pay their bills every month and it's not like people who are very wealthy they are very happy either personally i know so many people who have lots of money they are doing fine they are making good you know stuff but they can't do inner work even if they want to because they are so unhappy they have so many addictions because when you have so much money then another problem arises that you will get whatever you want to get and sometimes some of the things may not be useful to you some of the things are just distracting you some of the things are just slowing you down so that's why when you enter the phase of mission work or when you start doing what you love then you have to struggle to achieve those things you have to struggle for a certain amount of time in between there's always that phase so during that phase either you will be using your savings or you will be just volunteering for stuff or you will be learning something new or maybe you will be depending on someone and you may not like them so much or they may not be treating you that well but you have a dream in your head you have a hope in your head that one day i'll be successful and then i no longer have to deal with these people and i no longer have to take any help from anyone so after doing all that you know waiting and putting your energies into one thing only which you love which you want to do you start getting success at it when you start tasting success in this you know like it can be anything it can also be a relationship not just a goal which is career goal or something but it can be a relationship you want to enter into a relationship with someone and you're very smart and you're very patient you know that this person will be in your life so you're not making those type of efforts but mentally you're telling yourself it will happen it will happen it will happen with time it will happen whenever it is meant to happen and one fine day things happen the same person who you wanted to be with is now wanting to be with you what you seek is seeking you that's the art of intuition intuition always tells you that what you seek is seeking you yesterday i shared a channeling everyone should listen to that channeling everyone who wants to benefit in this ascension journey they need to know about intuition because intuition is not about prediction intuition is not about just predictions predictions come very naturally because you can read people you can read energies you can you know even access the entities that are attached to them the things that are ruling them if they are protected or not if they are arrogant or not if they are egotistical or not there's so many things you can get from a person if they are loving kind hearted dedicated devoted understanding patient so many qualities people have good and bad qualities you get to know about those qualities from time to time so getting to know people learning about life studying 
information, researching about metaphysical concepts and subjects. This is very important to a lot of people, especially when they are in inner work state, you know, when they are healing their wounds. So this channeling did not come only for a runner or a chaser or it did not come for someone who is listening. It is actually coming for everyone because you could also be in the same situation someday where another person could be telling you that they are into. Sometimes people have been through a lot in their life. Before meeting you, they may have been through a lot. But you are in such a big hurry to be with them. You are in such a big hurry to love them. In such a big hurry to spend time with them. To get commitment from them. That you don't want to know where they are coming from. What they have dealt with. What they have been through. Nobody wants to knowingly be into situations where they can get hurt. Okay. Especially for an ascensioner. Because ascensioners have done a lot of inner work. They are very smart. Where should I invest my energy in? What should I do with this person or that person? Or anybody who cares for themselves, anybody who's like, yes, if I do this, I will surely get hurt. If I make this decision, if I take this step, if I act in this way, I will surely get hurt. There is no other way out. So why should I do it? Why should I put myself into that problem, into that torture knowingly? I should not. So sometimes they go away from you. Or you go away from others for that reason. And this channeling is about that. It's not wrong to do that. It's not wrong to protect yourself from something that is not good for you. And this is actually a continuation of the previous channeling also. Which is about forgiveness. Because a lot of people think that it's not possible to forgive someone. Because they chose something better over you. If they chose something better over you. That's their choice and that's their life. You cannot expect people to do things according to what you want them to do. If they choose somebody else or something else, that is your answer. And you don't need to convince anyone after that. Because the more you will convince people, you know, for this, be with me, why didn't you choose me, why don't you love me, what's the matter with me, I'll do all of these things for you, I'll never trouble you, I'll never hurt you, just give me a chance. When you do these things, you know, the other people know that you cannot live without them. You are actually giving them a very big power. You are telling them that you cannot exist without them, without their presence, without their validation. And this is codependency. Somebody is asking me, what is codependency? Codependency is when you cannot live without other people or you actually think that you can't. And then you put a lot of responsibility on their shoulders also. If you are the one who is going through this situation and you have to deal with this situation, then also you can relate and resonate. That there are so many times when you know that you have something better to do in your life. You are busy with a project, you are busy with mission work, you are busy with inner work. And just in that point in time, same time, you know, somebody from your past or somebody new, they come up to you, they enter your life and they are expecting a lot from you. The one who came back from the past, like he just got out from his grave and came back to you, ghost from your past, when they come back to you, they remember you as a certain person, how you were in the past with them. And their expectation straight away is, you should be exactly like that, the way they left you or the way you left them. Whatever happened between you both, but they are expecting the same girl or the same guy to be in front of them. But that's not possible, especially if you're doing inner work, because inner work puts you into... A rebirth pattern, like every day you are a new person, every day you are growing, every day you are ascending. Okay, maybe for some people every day is too much to swallow right now. Okay, let's say every six months you are a new person. But technically it is on a day-to-day -day basis that we experience this. So, and yeah, you can do a lot of inner work, focus on these things. Like even you should experience life like that on a day-to-day -day basis, being content, being relaxed. Whatever happens, it stays in that day, it ends in that day and a new day starts. So everybody wants to protect their energy. Everybody is trying. Even those people who don't know how to do inner work, if they are doing manipulations, if they are playing, playing games, if they are doing politics, even people who do family politics to maintain a certain position in the family, within the relatives, within the group, why are they doing that? Because they are insecure, because they feel... That, you know, if I don't do all these activities and all these actions and all this gossiping and all this talking about this person or that person, I cannot maintain my position, which I need to, like politicians do this a lot. 
most politicians are like that the whole election campaign is around that present an image to the public show to the public how great you are the greater you are the more votes you'll get and when they get you know like the politicians when they get what they want from the people very few of them will do the actual work most of them will not because they know okay i wanted to be so and so person so and so minister now i am so what now i have to continue this term for so and so time next time i'll make bigger promises i'll make a bigger image it will all work out fine so relationship should not be like that it should not be about you creating an image which suits somebody else most people are trying to be likable they want to be loved by other people so they do so much for other people just to keep them happy just to keep them around it is very tiring and when they get tired when they need someone when they are sad when they are low there's nobody around because they have been projecting an image of a perfect person who can keep someone happy someone who can please you so this habit of pleasing other people it should not be there at all so what is needed over here is giving some time to people and things and situations and let it grow on to you if you feel a bit nervous if you are feeling scared that what is going to happen to you then to instead of worrying instead of going crazy because when you go crazy or when you go worrying in the worrying mode then you automatically shift into a lower frequency and then it will attract all those possibilities and probabilities that you don't want to happen you don't want to go through those things you know and they will they will happen so better to switch from that mood and think about it like that you know if somebody doesn't want to be with you you have to say to yourself that look even i was with them even i had a good time with them even i was enjoying with them right so what it didn't work out it didn't work out it's okay it's not a big deal it's not a big deal if things don't work out you have lots of things to do a relationship coming to an end or relationship not working out or even if you are having problems in a existing relationship is not the end of the world if it is meant to be solved it will only be solved with your positive and optimistic behavior and then some people go like how should i be positive in this situation so and so has done this to me they have i see sometimes messages comments that are scary i want to ask those people why haven't you reported to the police yet why are you commenting about it on youtube someone kidnapped you someone raped you they are writing these things that i was raped and kidnapped and this happened and that happened and this was done by my twin flame and this was done by why do you have to think that this person this type of person is your divine masculine or divine feminine you are putting such a precious label on a person and then you are mentioning that this divine masculine kidnapped me trafficked me around to other people like how why would you call them a twin flame or a divine how, where is the divinity how can people be so blind how can anyone be so blind that they're going through so many bad experiences by a person on a regular basis on a daily basis maybe on weekly monthly basis and they are saying that this person is divine and if you have attracted that person then you are not divine either because you are not letting your divinity grow you need to take a solid action you need to do something to get out of that situation instead of going on youtube and typing about these things that don't make any sense and this is not the only thing i've read i've read so many things and it's not like i don't feel bad for those people but my question to them is where is your logic where is your practicality you're not thinking straight or what don't you know that if somebody is treating you in such a horrible way first of all they are not divine and secondly they are not even right for you why are you still chasing them you should be happy they left you you should be so happy that a cheater a liar a bad person someone who is not treating you well someone who is disrespecting you someone who is having issues with you or with themselves or whatever it is they are bipolar maybe they are suffering they are not you know that uh, what you call it happy in their own world all those things are happening and they are putting a whole lot of responsibility on you so that you take care of them so that you are responsible for their happiness actually nobody can be responsible for another person's happiness we are responsible for our own happiness and if we are happy if we are content then only we can give it to other people what you have is what you give to other people and how you do one thing is how you do everything 
so what you have in you if you have love in you if you have affection in you if you have kindness and compassion in you you will give those things to others and these are very high vibrating emotions and feelings and and you know a state of mind to be in but if you are scared if you are insecure if you are unhappy if you have financial crisis if you have emotional crisis if you have wounds you are not doing anything else about the wounds but you are just aware about it maybe at that point in time whatever you have that's what we give to others knowingly or unknowingly consciously or unconsciously we always share who we are and that's why we say just be don't do anything extra just be yourself whatever god has made you so your whole focus should actually be on you know removing all the programming and going back to who you were naturally as how you were sent to this planet as who you were and the path will be shown to you and for that you need to protect your energy sometimes we are doing a big favor on other people by rejecting them or by telling them that i cannot go through this i'm sorry but this is difficult for me to go through this because then they'll sit and think about it they'll sit and think that okay my behavior was not that great i should not have done this i should not have done that but everybody is so codependent and they are so scared of being alone that they don't do that ideally they should do this right in the very beginning when they see the first red flag the first time they get cheated on the first time they you know go through a very massive lie that someone said to you that's the time you should literally emotionally not be there for those people because you don't know you can't trust them and if these are close people that we are talking about then you need to make a boundary see with the outsiders you can still walk away from them but then there are some people with whom you can't create that separation it could be your own partner with whom you have three children with and this person is lying to you or they're not treating you well or they keep talking badly about you behind your back and people come up to you and tell you that this uh, person of yours this partner of yours or this lover of yours or this girlfriend boyfriend husband wife whatever of yours is talking like this about you they're spoiling your image they're ruining your image in front of the whole world but what can you do they are with you you have children you have responsibilities you have a whole life and maybe this is the time you should act with wisdom and you should say okay let them do whatever they want to do i will do what i love and i will not emotionally now onwards i will not attach myself with this person i will still be myself and this is also a very deep type of meditation because there are certain relationships you can't go away from them you can't certain relationships are such deep connections from past life they are coming or they are purposely on your timeline you are predestined to be with them you can't run away from them so you need to create boundaries with those people and when you learn to create boundaries with those people then automatically in other places also your strength your wisdom your courage courage of being by yourself and courage of being who you are you don't like a certain setup say you are sitting with five friends you are chit chatting now initially it was good it was fun but after half an hour two hours maybe two hours have gone by now they're just gossiping random talking and you have lots of work to do you can't just sit away like sit there and waste your whole day you have to do your work you have to make you know your living or whatever is your important priority but just because you're scared that you know if you leave from here they'll not like it next time they will not invite you or the others who are you know you've left behind they'll become closer friends and you will be out soon or you trying so hard to fit in that even though you're not maybe you know on the same page with them on these conversations you are still sitting there and wasting your time better is to leave if somebody likes you somebody has a connection with you that connection will stay no matter what but you need to take care of yourself and you also don't want to get hurt sometimes the extent of getting hurt depends you know sometimes you can get little bit hurt on some situations and sometimes it's huge so depending on what your situation is you need to take care of yourself accordingly and it's not a wrong thing to do but when you do it with wisdom then you do it in a very nice way you don't you know you don't have to like make a fuss about it or create a scene around it you can simply do it simply do it in such a way you know that it's respectful for yourself and for others and if others don't understand then too you need to make them understand that you know what this is what it is this is who i am and i don't want to fake anything in front of you i don't want to do anything extra in front of you if there are things that i am not you know comfortable with i am here to let you know and i'll create my life around the things that make me comfortable 
because my peace and my happiness is more important than anything else. If I'm not happy, I can't keep others happy. That's the thumb rule. If you're not happy, you can't make anyone else happy. All right. So for your personal situations, you can check out the description box and you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com. The description box has all the links. You can join Patreon as in basically Patreon is for supporting the content creators, but I'm also giving you a bonus. Whosoever supports my content, there's a specific membership. If you take that, then you get a Zoom class free. It's written over there when you click on the page. The link is given in the description box. And if you want to take a personal session or book yourself into a therapy, then too, all you have to do is go through the description box, check whatever is there. If you resonate with it, if you feel like, yeah, this is the thing I want to do, then you can book yourself a therapy. But please do write to me. Let me know that you have booked a therapy or a personal session and I will schedule the time and I will give you all the steps going forward. And yes, the link to my book in the name of love is also given in the description box. So I will see you soon in another one. One love and peace out and Jai Shri Ram.